So what is involved in the simplification of Boolean functions? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college mathematics for over nine years. Now to be able to simplify Boolean functions, it's really important to have a foundation of what the laws are. So before you even simplify any Boolean functions, you know, we definitely need to go over them just to be sure that you know what they are. Now at this particular point, you already know the the multiplication, the addition, and the complement symbols, and understanding that they are and, or, and not, uh, the negation symbols, uh, respectively. So for the next couple of minutes, we're just going to go over those laws and just be sure that you know them, and then you'll be able to simplify, use these laws to simplify Boolean functions. Now, first we have the identity laws. Now the identity laws are pretty straightforward in that you have x plus 0 equals to x, x times 1 is equal to x. And then you get to the complementary laws, those involving the complement symbol. Now, remember, x plus x prime is equal to 1. x times x prime is equal to 0. And then we have x prime of prime, so the prime of x prime, that gets you back to x. Now, we have the so-called dominance laws, which talk about x plus 1 is equal to 1, and x times 0 is equal to 0. We then move to the idempotent laws, where we have x plus x is equal to x, and x times x is equal to x. Then we have the commutative laws, which are pretty self-explanatory in that they're just like regular algebra. The x plus y is equal to y plus x, and the x times y is equal to y times x. The associative laws are very straightforward as well, kind of have the same uh, connotation as the regular algebra laws. x plus parentheses y plus z is equal to the parentheses x plus y and then plus z, and then the same thing with multiplication there, as you can tell. And then you get to De Morgan's laws, where you have the prime of xy becomes the addition, x prime plus y prime, and the prime of x plus y gives you x prime times y prime. But you will be using these laws over and over again when it comes to simplification of Boolean functions. So it's, it's imperative that you know these inside and out. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and these are some rules on simplifying Boolean functions.